Officials from the government, presidential office, and the ruling Senate Party met on Thursday and vowed to tackle the economic and security challenges that the country faces through establishing greater cooperation on state affairs. Jim McGill takes us to the first such meeting since the 20th National Assembly opened in May. Officials from the ruling Senate Party said the government, presidential office, and parliament must work together to pass economic revitalization bills, which they said will help improve the livelihoods of the public and ensure the success of President Park Geun-hye's administration. The floor leader of the Sainuri Party, Chong Jin Suk, stressed that the government must communicate with the ruling and opposition parties in order for pending economic revitalization bills to be passed. The government said it would take that into consideration. Prime Minister Hwang Kyo-an agreed with the Conservative Party and urged the parliament to approve the government's fiscal stimulus plan, which includes a supplementary budget of 8.5 billion U.S. dollars. But the exact date of when to approve the extra budget is yet to be decided. The government hopes the fiscal stimulus plan can gain the parliament's approval before the end of July. Therefore, the parliament has also agreed to fully cooperate. The presidential office said the public wants the parliament to work harder, be more productive and do all they can to revitalize the economy. In order to do so, the presidential chief of staff, Lee Won Jung, said cooperation between the ruling party and the presidential office was crucial, especially when it comes to deal with corporate restructuring in alien companies. The three entities agreed to meet as often as possible to discuss key national agendas, including reforming four major sectors, namely labor, finance, education and public services, amid growing global economic uncertainty such as Brexit. Tim Young-gil, Arirang News.